Okay, a number of people have been asking me about Alienware Command Center and Control Panel. And since I'm one of the few people who have this much equipment, considering I'm one of the few people who have not only the headphones, but I also have the 34-inch monitor, and I also have uh, two triad towers. One, I'm like one of the few people who can answer this question for some people because I keep getting questions about the Alienware keyboard and the mouse because some people have um, their computers and they don't know how to get the software in order to make it so that they can control all of the uh, uh, lighting and, and the overclocking and this, that, and other. So I was going to make this video really quick for the people who keep asking me this question on the other videos that I did about my build. So this is what I'll do. I'll turn off my lights so that this way we'll use this tower right here. So that this way we can see the lighting effects. Now, I have to say, um, the one thing I have noticed is that um, Command Center replaces Control Panel. However, you don't want to get rid of Control Panel because you're still going to need it. And I'm going to show you why. Um, I noticed that the Command Center, uh, I think there must be a bug because... If you've modded your case, or if you've modded your system, the triad lighting on the actual tower may not show up in one of the programs. So let's find out about that in a second. So, okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, everything is lit up right now. And I've also, I, I guess maybe there's a couple of bugs that they have to work out because some of the uh, keyboard strategies that I've made don't always show up right away until I actually go into Command Center. Now, as you can see, that's the Alienware right here. This is the one that comes with the headphones. This automatically installs itself when you uh, plug in the headphones. This one right here, however, is the newest command center, and the new command center also comes on their new laptops, And just in case you get one of the RTX series laptops. Um, I'm going to show how this works on my uh, laptop as well. So when you fire this up, okay, it says no supported Alienware effects devices were detected, which doesn't make sense because the monitor itself, as you can see, the monitor itself is an Alienware FX device. Now, I've noticed that I've had to um, download. There's been a number of downloads that have come for Command Center. If you plug in the keyboard and the mouse, it will trigger its own download. And f by the way, I'll turn on my headphones right here so this way we can see the... Um lighting on the headphones too. Now, notice that when I started it, it said it didn't detect anything, but what it's about to do is when I go here to FX, right here, when you go to FX, you'll see lighting, and now you see it says Alienware Pro Gaming Keyboard, Alienware Advanced Gaming Mouse, Alienware Monitor, and then Alienware Area Headset, right? So as you can see, this is the headset right here, and I left it on Spectrum, so it is uh, on uh, pink right now. And then you see the keyboard photo, and then you see my keyboard has changed to match the photo. So let's go. If you go right here to the side, you can choose which one you want to look at. The headphones, the monitor, the mouse, or the keyboard, right? So every preset that you make, any theme that you make to preset for the keyboard is going to be here. So is the mouse. So like if I go right here and I say, okay, I want to change the lighting on the mouse. I want to change the lighting on the mouse to, uh, let's say I want to change the lighting on the mouse. It shows the picture of the mouse. It goes orange and now it's orange. If I say, okay, what I want to do is I want to change this to blue. Oh, look at that. Now it changes to blue. In the video camera, it looks purple, but this is actually, I'm looking at it with my eyes. Um, if I, okay, watch this. If I want to change it to red, boom, there you go, it's red. But it's also, it's cycling colors though, because I think it's um, pulse mode or something. Yeah, the mode is breathing. So what I could do is I could throw it into spectrum. And if I go spectrum, then it's going to go through all the spectrum colors. 
Okay. Now, keyboard. I'm not going to really change my keyboard colors right here, but I could. And then there's also the monitor. Right now, the back of my monitor is uh, lit in orange, as you can see. Right there, you can see that. It's lit in orange. If I were to change this, I could change this to something else. Let's see, I were to change this to, I don't know, another color. That, let's see, another off color. Uh, I noticed there's a couple of butt weight cancel. I'm not going to save it. Uh... Okay. Well. Yeah, right now it's lit in orange. I can, but I, you get the point. I can change it to anything I want. But what you won't notice is now you can see that right now it's go. I'm morphing between. I, I put it in the morph mode. It's morphing between purple and blue. What you won't notice right here is you won't notice the actual tower itself. The tower, for whatever reason, doesn't show up. Now I don't know if that's because I've upgraded my system or what. But the tower, I'm going to turn this off now because I'm not going to use the headphones. So you just push this, turn it off. And then when you turn it off, as you see, the headphones disappear. But what you'll notice is that you don't see the tower here. Now, that's the reason why what I had to do was I kept the, um, as you can see, I kept, this one is the command center. But this is the new, this is the new one right here. So what I did was I kept this one. The old command center. I'm going to show you where you get it. You can get it at Dell. Dell.com has the download. So this is where I have to go in order to manipulate the actual case. So this is the reason why I never, I never actually got rid of that one. Because I noticed that, okay, this shows the, um, in fact, let's see if this shows the headphones. Let's see if when I activate this, does it show the headphones? Okay, let's see if it shows the headphones. I'm gonna turn it off and then I'll come back. Let's see what it does. Because see, the reason why they have the new command center is because the new command center supported the headphones. But I don't remember, I think they, yeah, I don't think they ever updated this old command center to work with the headphones. So that's the reason why they have the new command center. So basically, you actually, until they fix whatever bugs there are, they're going to have two command centers, two different command centers. So you have to be able to have both of these. Now, I had to download it myself, too. But as you can see, let's see if I want to change the color of the system. I can pick all zones. And I can say I want to change it to yellow. Okay, as you can see, I want to change it to orange. Let's say I want to change it to red, change it to blue or purple, ultraviolet, green. There's also green there. Okay, so you get the photo, you get the picture. This can automatically uh, sync all devices so that if I want to change everything at the same time, I can sync everything together. Or um, I can do things individually, you know. They, I, I guess because they have so many different uh, system specs, I guess um, that's the reason why they uh, um, probably haven't been able to work out all the bugs yet. Because I, I think I, I get one new update for a command center every single week. And it takes like about three minutes to download and install. But um, at the time being... Neither of these two command centers work all the devices. So you have the new one that doesn't seem to work very well with the triads on this tower. And then you have the old one that doesn't seem to work with the headphones. So, okay, let me close that up. Close, no, don't save changes. Okay, um, not saving the changes. So I, le I left it the way I started it. Okay, so you're asking me, well, where do you go to download this? And I know I put a link in one of the videos that I made about this before. But, um, in fact, I'll go right to my YouTube page and I'll show you. Because there's actually a link that I left. Um, when you type Alienware Command Center, one of the videos that I made before is right here. And I called it Alienware Command Center and Alien Effects Reinstall. Because keep in mind, the name of this program is Alien Effects. And I, what I did was, 
I left you a link right here, and I'm going to put that link in this new video too, so this way you can go to it. But when you go to DellSupport.com, you'll see right here it says Driver Details, Alienware Command Center for Desktops. Now this is the old version uh, 4.8.25.0 last updated February 19th. So if you need to reinstall Command Center into your desktop, um, just click on this link and you can come to Dell directly and you can reinstall it. Now this says this package has 4.8 application for Alienware Area 51 R2. These cases, as you can see, are Alienware um, 51, Area 51 R2s. So if you need that, that this is where you come basically so just click that link if there's any other links i'll um put those in for you too so what i'll do let me just turn off my headphones but keep in mind you're going if you have an alienware area 51 r2 you're going to want to get both of these command centers and you can download those at this website so what i'll do is um, the newest command center, I'll put the link on there for you so that you can have access to that. Now, here's my, one of my, uh, laptops right here. This is my, uh, Alienware 15. I have this, I'm taking this with me because next, uh, week I'm going to, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Philippines and I'm also going to, uh, Bali. So this is my travel laptop, and I had to get a smaller one because the 17 was just too big. So as you can see, this laptop has the same side lighting, and it came with command center built in. So as you can see, I've, I had it set to spectrum because I like the way it looks. Okay. All right, yeah, you see. Very low. I play games on this, in fact. I've, right now I've got a, what is this? Uh, this one, this is the old model. So this has the Core i7, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, and it has, uh, what is it, um, the GTX 1080. So, as you can see, I only have the newest command center, just like on this computer right here. And when I go into this new command center, this new command center looks pretty much the exact same way. And you go into Alienware Effects, and that allows you to change your lighting. But you need this new command center on the newest laptops, which you shouldn't have too much of a problem with because it's going to come with it. But the R2 model or the R4 model, the, these older model desktops are going to require the old command center in order to manipulate these. Now, the new desktops, the brand newest ones, or the thread rippers, will come with the newest model or the newest uh, software installed. But see, what I did was I modified these computers because I, I upgraded the RAM, I upgraded the SSD, and if you change the SSD, you may delete your um, software package that came with it. So what I, cause what I did was I wanted my computer, cause you can hear how quiet it is. I don't have hard drives. I don't use regular hard drives. I have, uh, six terabytes of SSD storage at this point, uh, mostly Crucial or Samsung in both of these computers. And even this one, I'm going to upgrade this one entirely to be SSD because it came with one, uh, regular hard drive. And I don't like using mechanical hard drives anymore. I like it to be a hundred percent solid state. So, um, I'm going to upgrade this one too um, this summer when, when I come back. But SSD prices are very cheap now. You can get a 2 terabyte NVMe and it's only like 194 bucks, So that's pretty good. But as you can see, lighting right here, if I had the headphones plugged in, you'd be able to do it right here too. So this shows you the case lighting on the front and the back of this computer. Right now it is set to spectrum, but if I want... I can set it to, uh, let's see, something else. Uh, how, what, what do I got? What do I got? Uh, lighting is here. Okay, so this is the case side lighting. Oh, yeah, here we go. Case side lighting. 
and you can set it to pretty much whatever you want, just like you can set this pad right here. So if I wanna set the, uh, the pad to another color, you can do that real easy. Like I can set it to sky blue, or you can set it to green, or you can set it to orange, or you can set it to red. So basically, um, you know, I hope that answers the questions that a couple of you had, because it looked like a couple of you may have modified your uh, hard drives and you lost your software. So I'm going to ensure that the link to the newest software is in this video. So this way, if you come looking, I hope I explained it. So if you have any specific questions about either one of these style computers, uh, just let me know. And as for this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a little while for the RTX 2080 to drop in price on the laptop. And then what I'll do is I'll get that laptop too. And I'll make a video about uh, that one. But that one's pretty much going to come with all its software installed. So, um, you know, I may not have... Anybody who buys a brand new one, it's automatically going to come with the software installed. So, it, you know, it's really not... Uh, it's probably not necessary unless you modify it right out of the box. You know, for me to uh, make a video like that. But um, if you really... If you request it, I'll uh, do it for you. So there you go. Hopefully I answered your questions. And um, just look in the URL section and um, you'll be able to see all of the uh, supported equipment, the monitors that are supported, the mouse that's supported, the keyboard that's supported. Okay, so any other questions, just leave it in the comments section.